hi my favorite people what's up i hope you are doing great wherever you are so today i want to show you the university of namibia yes see this university of namibia so that's where we are going right now i want to show you the real footage raw footage of the university of namibia now the university of namibia is the best in the country when you come to namibia the university of namibia is the best that you've got so if you want to study in this country then look out for it um, then you can have a good time i personally have been here before i studied here and i really loved this university so that's why i want to show you this university today in this video yeah so yeah this road i forgot the name of this road this one like the main road i forgot the name hopefully i'll remember it and uh yeah this is like the entry point because that road is like the main road and then this is like the entrance now when you are going to the university i think this is just like a checkpoint for the security uh, to make sure everything is okay and safe because uh, sometimes there are robberies happening here people will be coming to rob students their laptops their phones and stuff like that it happens i'm not saying it's something that happens always but once in a while we often hear about these cases man so yeah let's explore the university of namibia Namibia is actually beautiful guys so let's see if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing liking the video and also you know sharing with other people so that they get to see the beauty of Namibia actually it's the beauty of Africa Today it looks like it's not busy because I don't see a lot of people walking around, even taxis. Yes, you can see. University of Namibia, this site. Outpatient unit, Unam Veterinary Academic Hospital, you go straight. So, yeah, I can see the building far that side. But uh, the last time I was here, it was not there. So, but probably that's the one. Yeah, but the area is pretty clean and you can see trash cans everywhere. <clears throat> There's no justification of throwing trash on the ground. And so in this video, in this episode, I'm going to talk about what I love about this university and also its shortfalls. Because I studied here, so I would feel I'll be kind of biased, but I'm going to try and bring a balanced analysis so that if you want to come and study here or if you're just curious about this institution, you get to know more about it. So this is more like a taxi rank. So if you come here, the taxis will be parking there. And if you are leaving the institution, you get your taxi here. And then you go. You see that taxi over there? Okay. but this main entrance because the taxis i don't think they are allowed to go inside so they have like a rank there where they can go and drop you off and then this one are the cars that will be going inside you see there the university of namibia i don't need a car if i had a car i'd be walking this way but now i'm walking so if i had a car i'll be driving this way sorry but if I'm walking, I have to go this way in this tunnel. The infrastructure is actually nice. Yeah, that's 
the entrance so this is one of the entrances and then there's also another entrance right So there's security here, at the entrance, if you're coming with a car, over there, then this is like a normal entrance if you're walking. Yeah. Sometimes I remember those days when I was still here, you have to put your bag inside here, and then they scan to see what you have. And there's also like a nice shoe spot over there and toilets. Yeah. So that's the shoe spot. If you want to chill, maybe you're waiting for someone, or I don't know, maybe you just want to relax just at the entrance, and then you continue with the tunnel. Guys, this university is actually beautiful out here in Namibia. What you see on this channel is real. Raw footage, none edited. So this is the entrance. So as you can see now, um, when we enter, we are approached by these hostels. These are the hostels where you'll be staying. You see those ones? Yes. Um, that's where you'll be staying those blocks those ones if you come to this university as a student you'll be staying there So these hostels, as far as I know, it's like a, a private property. It's, they don't belong to the university at the moment, but I believe in the future, the university will own them. I don't know what the deal, what was the contract all about, but it's called Imona Hostels. It's actually beautiful. I don't think they will allow me to go inside because I'm not a student. So. Yes, I'm not a student anymore, so I'll just be walking around to show you like the way it looks from here. You see, I can see students inside there even signing in to go in there. Because just to prove that you are a student, I mean, it's for the safety of the students themselves, so that uh, the people outside don't have like easy access to the premises. But these are the hostels. But they are quite expensive to stay in there because they are also like you know places where you can rent uh, outside the campus and stay there, which is quite cheap compared to this one. But here, you know, it, like it's pretty secured, it's safe, you can leave your laptop in the room. And you know nothing's gonna happen to it, you know, <laughs> and your gadgets, because this is a, a university um, institution. How are you, bro? Wow! I don't want to make this video too long. So over there we have like a stadium. So I don't know if I should take this way or go this way. Okay, I'll show you the stadium later on. Let's go this way. So the University of Namibia is one of the best. Um, when we talk about the alumni, like the people who have studied here, um, this institution, 
there is one particular guy that I love that I like um, his name is Job um, Panda he's like an activist a politician and he once served as um, the mayor of Windhoek because this university is like in Windhoek the capital city of Namibia that's where you find this one the main campus this is the main campus so I think it's a lecturer here right now as I'm recording this video uh, yeah I believe he's still a lecturer and he once served as the mayor because he's into you know activism I think I would say opposition politics I don't know his party but yeah you can look up the name uh, on the internet Job and Panda is very influential educated I love the guy So these are like the blocks where you'll be staying if you come and study here. The last time I checked, one of the rooms in there, they used to cost like something like uh, between, because there are different rooms, but you'll be sharing. This one is also like a small gate to go inside. So some of the rooms in there you'll be sharing and then I remember the last time I was here, you'd be paying something like, uh, okay, I'll say on average, 3,000 Namibian dollars. It can be more, it can be a little bit less. And this place is like a recreational area where people used to come and chill. There are toilets out here. And then there is like chill, chilling spot over there yeah wow. so i feel it was designed for people just to come and chill you know drinking and stuff you know students they love to have fun and uh, yeah now you can see almost like the whole campus from here going this direction and here we have like uh, courts i think it's a basketball court if you love playing basketball or if you love playing tennis yeah this is your spot you can come here and have fun you know as a student life is just not all about studying you also you know you know you're also supposed to be fun enjoy so that you enjoy your studies too mm -hmm. so if you're loving the video please consider subscribing liking dropping a comment and if you have studied the benefits of namibia okay this is your home i'm showing you home yeah in real life to bring back those memories man So this side we're gonna explore and see. It's more, it's uh, more of like lecture halls. Yeah. And um, this side, you see beyond this court we also have like some hostels but these ones they are owned by the university so you'll be staying there if um, your application is successful hmm. yeah but these courts they need to be renovated man anyway let's go so this place i'm showing you right now it's uh, one of the cafeterias here where people come i mean students where they come and buy food i'm kind of hungry right now so i'm looking forward maybe i'll to buy something i can eat right now hi 
How much is this one? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Then this one? Three dollars. Three dollars. Huh? No, just give me this one inside. Okay. So from here, the courts and the hostels, and then there's also a chill spot right here where you can come and chill, eat the food. people i hope you are loving the episode and now we have the 24 hour study center so if you want to study here you can study for 24 hours which is something that is not available in some you know institutions here you can start 24 hours every day and the wi-fi is there Hello. So that's like a study area. We'll, we'll be studying, right? Let's continue with our tour. Actually, I want to eat whilst I'm recording this, this video because I'm actually hungry. So this is what I'm having. It's like a hot dog. Yes, it was 15 Namibian dollars, this one. So today the campus looks dry, it's like there's no one today. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the Easter holidays. Or maybe they are doing exams. But I remember this place, we call it PK, I don't remember PK what, PK1 or PK2. Okay, let me check over there. Mm -hmm. Peter Kajavivi Lecture Theatre. Mm -hmm. So PK, I would say it was just a shortcut. You can see the PK too. Yeah, I remember very well. So it's a shortcut of maybe Peter Kajavivi Lecture Theatre. I don't know who this guy is, but I think he's one of the popular figures out here in Namibia.
there's also like a gym over here if you want to train exercise okay yeah here you can learn karate when to judo club you can join all these clubs So uh, the abbreviation for this university it's UNAM. UNAM. So I wanna try to see if I can you know go through this entrance. Um when I was here this institution we used to go through this way, it is like a main hall. Okay, let me just put this in the trash can. Ah. okay let's go inside so this one is the department of visual and performing arts section drama i used to act guys okay it's open i don't know if i will be able to go through so these are like lecture halls if you are learning something that is to do with music and drama you come here Looks like it's closed. Yeah, here it's locked. Are you boss? Yes. Okay. So this place is called the main hall. Main hall. If you are doing registrations, acting, it's popularly known for that. So I want to show you the other area as well. That's why I chose not to go this side. But most of these places is like the lecture halls and stuff. the University of Namibia so this will be your campus if you choose to come and study in this country or in window this is the main campus now the University of Namibia has so many campuses across the country it depends on the program that you are studying if you are studying medicine probably you'll be posted to a different you know town or place it depends so don't assume that this is where you'll be if you're studying at this institution. There are certain programs. For example, people who are studying vert science, they have their own special campus somewhere, right here. So I want to show you the stadium. 
um, yeah, that's the Yunam Stadium. So when there are games, or maybe performances from music artists. That's where you find them. And this one is just like an open ground. But I love Yunam. This was my home for four good years. I love this institution, man. Yeah, my life was centered around this place for four good years. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll be able maybe to find one or two people to talk about this institution, man. But today it's like, it's dry. I don't see students around and I expected to see them. Maybe it's because of the Easter holidays and they are not back. Um, probably they'll be back. I don't know when. Or maybe it's an exam period. But I don't think they'll be writing exams at this point in time. Okay, some of the doors, it looks like they are closed, let's see, because this is like the stadium. Oh, it's open. this this is the Yunam Stadium look at the beach Just look at the beach wow and the terrace is over there yeah and it's it's green man look at this They're actually taking care of this very well yeah man if you love football a rugby wow this is your place mm -hmm. i miss my unum old days man this place this place is lovely <laughs> mm. we used to sit out here and watch games over there what a beautiful amazing view wow okay but when it comes to football man namibians forgive me but <laughs> it seems there's so much work that you need to do what is in there okay these are just toilets and stuff for the fans. Okay, let's go back and I will continue to show you this beautiful institution, the University of Namibia. So, there are so many programs. It's a bit wind now. It looks like it's gonna rain. So forgive me for the audio. Wow, very strong wind. My battery is about to run out, but um, hopefully we'll be able to finish 
um, in this episode. So if there's anything that you want to know in particular pertaining to this university, you can let me know in the comment section and then I'll share the information with you. And uh, one thing also that I love about this place is like the security is everywhere. So it means they prioritize the security of students out here. You know, a lot of things can happen. So if you see security everywhere, then you feel like, you know, you're pretty safe. But one thing that is very, you know, fascinating is um, I remember when I was in Tanzania, there is the University of Dar es Salaam. You can't just enter. It's very, it's very tricky to enter if you don't have like an ID. Here, I don't see students wearing IDs, and when you enter the gate, it's like it's very easy to go through. Nobody asks you questions. You just go inside. So this is like the the library the library earlier on i showed you the study center it's not the library you can just go there with your books your pc and study on your own you have access to the internet but if you want access to the books then you have to come here in the library So yeah, this is the main library and you have to leave your bags here before you go inside and this is the main library. There are also like computers if you don't have a PC. One thing I love about this institution also is the availability of resources. Internet is there. Sometimes if you don't have a PC, if you can afford in the library there, if you come early, you can get computers to use to type your assignment, even to do research. Wow. And this area is more like also recreation. There's like some chill spot benches where you can come and chill and buy some food. Course, there's also like a cafeteria out here you see see the cafeteria buy some food some entertainment And watch some games TV yeah and this area area is more like uh, lecture halls and there are also ATMs if you want to withdraw some money I can see FNB over there And guys, at this university, it accommodates everyone. Um, let's say you are differently abled. I'll put it that way. You can walk, you need a wheelchair. There are also like lifts. The one that you use, see over there, there's like a lift. But then if you can walk, you can use stairs. So this video has become longer than I expected, but this, all these are lecture halls, that's where students will be learning in. Mm -hmm. But today I don't see students, it's very strange, I don't know what's happening.
hopefully my battery won't finish before we finish this tour so like i said um so many programs because i just want to give you a rundown of this institution i think if there are people who are interested to come and study here if you want me to make a video about what kind of programs that you have to do uh, the kind of money that you have to pay the application process the school fees everything i can do a video about it um, that is if if you want but today the aim of the video was just showing you around the place so that if you are coming to study here in namibia you can have an idea of exactly where you're going to and how does the place look like and um, actually it's a good thing that i have to compare because i've been at the university of Dar es Salaam and i'm here at the university of namibia i want to compare the two so that you can also uh, you know it can help you to understand the you know the dynamics in the situation what i can say here is like the this one looks like it's a pretty small institution like everything is like in a small area but when you go to the university of Dar es Salaam it's very big you see now it's almost like uh, i think 36 minutes that i've been walking but pretty much i have covered all of it so let's see if we can be able um to talk to some students just before we leave hello hi uh can i please ask are you a student here oh no you're working uh all right it's fine okay i want to talk to to students particularly because i want to understand their experiences of this place hi yeah let me talk to this one hello how are you i'm okay um my name is Lionel. Mm -hmm. so i'm doing a video about the institution the university of namibia mm -hmm. so i just have one or two questions can i please ask you're in a hurry okay it's fine okay she's in a hurry so we can ask her some questions hopefully we'll find someone else oh yeah pretty much we are back to where we were and this is the school of military science so if you are into military and stuff then you have to come here all right okay so now i can take that path that i avoided earlier on because basically almost like they at the same place my battery is about to run out so i have to be quick okay let's take the stairs i think that will help us and um i just want to appreciate each and every one of you who have taken their time their precious time actually to subscribe to the channel and watch the videos lecture hour six one of the lecture rooms for students
from from up here you can have a beautiful view of the campus look So this one is called the Y block. Y block. So many lecture rooms are here. So this is like a language center and the SRC offices are this side. If you want representation, yeah, if you want to learn some languages. So uh, over there we have like a cafeteria for staff over there even students can come but it's pretty expensive for them to afford here right there's the cafeteria for the staff and in front of you guys right now is the main administration block right so if you want to come and ask anything apply that's where you come and you'll be attended to So you see this one is the administration block and the entrance another entrance is this side but my camera is about to turn off I don't know if you do survive until then but I just want to show you the dining where you'll be eating where you'll be having food Looks like it's gonna rain today. There are some drops. There are also hostels this side, but there's nothing in the dining hall. It's actually empty. And here we have like the university clinic if you are sick and i believe that's where the tray the nurses are trained here
this is called Pastor de area so that you can see a little bit of inside and this is just like a blueprint the map of the institution so yeah let's take it from where we left off yeah this is the university of namibia medical clinic you guys must take this what's this let's take a lot of them <laughs> wow this is like uh, what is this this is personal lubricant water based okay and this it's very important to protect yourself right so i don't know which way we can use now uh, okay let me go through this door Mm -hmm. We just jump. Oh. So the camera kind of switched off mm -hmm. because of uh, power outage. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish off this vlog now. It can turn off any minute. And right here we have uh, the Confucius Institute. If you want to learn Chinese, that's their blog and transport center as well. Anyway, let me just rush through. So just yeah, we just finished this video. So from here we are heading towards the uh, the exit now, the other entrance that I was telling you about. Wow, I have to rush because like I only have like five percent energy to switch off just now. I know. So guys please consider subscribing you see the effort trying to show you these places around in good quality and there are also cameras there you see the camera i don't know what they are constructing there but i remember two years ago it was like that they were still you know constructing i don't know why the project is not yet complete but this is the University of Namibia guys so this is the other entrance this is how it looks and I believe most people are now using this entrance as you can see it's a bit busy security guards there security guards there so yeah this way is only for staff and then everyone else they have to use that way <sighs> I'm so tired guys I need to go home now let's see clean uh, window they are not going clean window okay so this is like the taxi rank this side the other main entrance what's up how are you uh clean windows uh puma service you're not going yeah like when you're going to the airport okay let me find let me find someone okay i'm trying to look for a taxi yeah it's uh uh clean vinduk okay
Oh, you boys.